The city is a very large continuous city that measures 18.3 miles north to south, 13.4 miles east to west. That matches Salt Lake City perfectly, which is exactly what it says in the Dead Sea Scrolls. Two, it's built on a grid system. Okay. Three, the grid is oriented north to south and east to west. Four, the streets are wide. Five, the sidewalks, the peristyle is wide all over the place. Obnor obnoxiously wide. It would never be that wide. Okay. okay. Six, all the streets are numbered from the temple, not from the state capital. Like every what? Other Shut up, really? I'm spending money like I just got paid. Hundred dollar bills, tell them keep the change. <laughs> okay. You can check all my math. Go look at the Hebrew, guys. It's, uh -huh. it's crazy. Hey, pop a bottle, about to make it rain. Let me give you something now to celebrate. Come on. Dude, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but it's there. I swear. And if you're wondering why I move the way I do, I just feel so good. The following is an episode of Ward Radio and does not represent the thoughts or the opinions of KHTS, its owners, or any of its affiliates, nor does it represent the official opinion of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. With that said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the program. Cowabunga Bay Water Park, that's what the Essenes saw in their heavenly vision. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Ward Radio. I am your host, Cardinalis. Today, I'm joined in the studio by Jonah Barnes, the Associate Professor of All Things Apocryphal, who's going to talk to us today about how Salt Lake City apparently shows up in the Dead Sea Scrolls, Dude, Jonah. legit. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, man. It sounds crazy, but it's there. I swear to you. Okay. I got to tell you, I love my fellow Utah brothers and sisters, but there's sometimes... Where I just really feel their Utahism is preceding their Mormonism, for lack of a better term. And and just like I, I really push back as a Los Angelino and as a member of the church from California. That like this idea that Utah Zion and all these weird little Utah centric things that they say, is this just Utah centrism on steroids look, so much look, so hey, that they're like, I'm not from Utah. I've never been from Utah. Okay, <laughs> I stumbled upon this and I'm okay. like, oh, oh my gosh, it's crazy. And so I you watch, think this is legit? This is. You're, I'm taking you on this journey with me. All of you watching, we're going on this journey together, and you're going to be convinced by the end of this thing because this was crazy. This was crazy. Okay. Okay, okay, so then tell me, how does Utah show up specifically in the temple scroll, the same scroll that says Lehi built the altar? Mm. So this is from the Essenes in Qumran, right? Yes. Okay, so there's this. Okay, go there, for it, dude. So, <laughs> you're kidding. <I'm> gonna, <laughs> yeah. So there's these, there's these people who, so contrary to uh, everyone who laughed at Joseph Smith for this now, uh, hopefully he's eating crow, because- there were lots of people who left Jerusalem and went off into the wilderness and tried to kind of build Zionist communities and left because they thought the city was wicked. And this will be this will be relevant later. Jerusalem is was the holy city of peace, and it still had periods of wickedness. So I'm just saying, just because you you know something's prophesied of doesn't mean that it's all righteous or whatever. But yeah, okay. So these guys they go off into the wilderness and they have they build their own community, and it's very important what their community looks like, what their city looks like. They build this holy city. And in the temple scroll, there is a vision of a future city that will be built. Okay? And, okay. And they're trying to craft their city after this. Now, in the first, um, I think it's the first thing that I put in there. Okay. Uh, it says the Dead Sea Scrolls, Michael Wise. So I'm using the translation by Michael Wise, Abeg, and Cook, which is an excellent okay, translation. Okay, right here. They talk about in scroll... Uh, one, Qumran Cave 8, 1 through 4. You can look this up yourself if you need to. It says, in the council of the community, there shall be 12 men and three priests perfectly versed in all that is revealed of the law. Okay? Wow. Was, yeah. So the okay. whole- Okay, out so far. Now that could just be basic Jewish okay. uh, symbolism. Okay. But yeah, a, a society run basically by 12. So we're saying specifically 1800 Salt Lake City. Yeah, okay, because uh, right that, now it's that's, that's going to come in later. Because right now it's a what a state assembly with like I don't know fifty people here and a hundred people there in a higher house, lower house, whatever. Okay, that's going to yeah. This sounds kind of like Brigham Young, Salt Lake City. Yeah. Okay. So then in four Qumran two sixty five um, seven two. Okay. okay. It refer it, it refers to these men as the fifteen men. 
The 15 men. Okay, Whoa, that's what they're called. Wait, wait, wait. So the Q15 now. So they're saying the 15 men. You're coming with me on not this that, You're Whoa. coming with me on this card, and I'm taking, you, <laughs> I'm taking you on this journey. Okay, now, so that's just like, that's like a little appetizer. We're just getting, okay. we're just getting a little appetizer, okay? So now there's the big one that compares two texts next to each other. I brought in the original Hebrew so that you can see this, that I'm not crazy, okay? Okay, right here. Uh, next to the English, and I've highlighted the relevant portions i went and looked this up because i was like no way this can't be and it totally checks out okay so this vision of this futuristic city of zion okay the first thing about it is that it is a city built centered around god the tabernacle or the sanctuary as it's called is in the center of the city and all the streets around it run east and west okay only east and west and north and south only it's on a grid Okay. Okay. What well, does then, use the word on the grid? Because that could be Manhattan. Oh well. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, fine. Fine. You want to do this? Okay. Yeah. Maybe there's so, a bunch of tri-state area <laughs> scenes in the. You know, these were Jets fans and Giants fans. These weren't freaking Utah Kumaran. Jazz fans, dude. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> in four Kubron five fifty four one two. Okay. He has this vision, and he says, "The angel leads him to the interior, and he measured the block." I don't know why he's doing this, but. If Did I was, it say blonde chicks were walking by? <laughs> <laughs> were there people with their blonde. MLM marketers hitting them up on every street corner? Yeah, yeah. Was that <laughs> so he says, he says there's something strange about the size of the streets, okay? It says on every side, a peristyle ran around the block on the outside of the street. Now, a peristyle- what's a, Yeah, what's a peristyle? Is a huge sidewalk. Really big sidewalks, Okay. I'm looking up a picture of Salt Lake City. Do it. Because I've never seen a city that's older that has bigger sidewalks. Do it. Okay, Salt goes on, Lake City block. I'm he just says, doing a- He says these are so big, and so he measures them. And he says that these rods are, that these the streets are- Look, the very first entry that comes up, why are Salt Lake City's blocks so long? Mm-hmm. October 26, 2017. It's not just called, no, it's not just that Salt Lake City's blocks are wide, its streets are too. At 130 feet, they're double the width of those in Manhattan, Portland, and all mm-hmm. those other places. Now, Brigham wow. Young, Brigham Young, who, now Joseph Smith revealed the plan for the city of Zion and Nauvoo, and Brigham Young used that to plot out the city in Salt Lake, okay? This is based off of Joseph Smith's vision. And Joseph Smith says he got it from Deuteronomy. He got it from the Old Testament. That's where he got this thing right. And everybody, every house was supposed to have a very large uh, yard and sidewalk and garden. Every house was to have its own garden. This was the city of Zion, okay? Okay. And it's based in this grid, okay? So he says it's really, really big. It goes east to west. The streets and the sidewalks are 10 rods, 6 rods. Uh, 70 cubits. There are these huge sidewalks. Like, no city has sidewalks this big, okay? Okay. Then he, uh, and the translators then talk about the size of the entire city. And they say, the whole city itself is enormous. And and back in the day, remember, the largest city on earth was teeny weeny, okay? Back yeah. in, you know, like the city of David BC. back in 600 BC. Was, like 10,000 people. Yeah, it was just thing. a little sliver of the, the city of Jerusalem you see now. Yeah. yeah. So he says, he says, this is fascinating. The translator says, the dimension of the visionary city and buildings are too large to be realistic. The example, the city, for example, measures 140 stades or stadia on the east and west and 100 stades or stadia on the north and south. That's enormous. No city is that big. That's absurdly large, okay? So they say, this doesn't make any sense, especially way back in that day. So, oh, well, it's just some crazy vision that they have. Well, okay. if you were crazy enough and bored enough to actually translate this into Ptolemaic Egyptian stadia, into yards and into feet and into miles... Um, you would get the following. So I put some little little uh, math in here. Okay. So that people can do this at home. Because you, you were a little bit skeptical, Cardin. You yes. were all like, oh, what I don't think. Blah, blah. So we're taking you on this journey. Dude, here. I put on my Dan McClellan and I just started calling her to forgery <laughs> the second I saw That's right. it. Hey, that's and what I just, I'm wearing. That's you what know I'm wearing what I'm saying? Today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah. yeah. And uh, the fit today is fit nailed today. it. Home Depot. Yeah. No, yeah. actually Lowe's. But, yeah. um, yeah, so, I so, got to tell you, man, I, I'm with Dan McClellan on this one. If out the gate you think it's hogwash. Okay. Although, 
These are the same experts that told us they six are. feet would stop the spread. They so, are the experts who've uh, never been wrong about anything. Yeah, okay. So well, you did some math here. Let's look at the math. So, all right. 140 stadia. Now, there's different measurements of stadia, okay? So people are going to say, well, that's We still got to get blah, blah, blah. Dan McClellan on the show. <laughs> He's never <laughs> coming know, on yeah. now. <laughs> you don't think so? I think he can come on. <laughs> we got to talk to like Bart Diermon. Like, dude, this would be like right up his alley. Some like, you know, Dead, oh, sure. Dead Sea Scroll stuff. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's see if he thinks they saw Salt Lake City in the original. <laughs> Bring it on. You know, dude, I'm going to show <laughs> you. Right That's now, a pretty non committal position, gonna be, right? I'm going to be sorry, <laughs> Carter. I'm going to make you sorry. So, 140 stadia. This is from the text. Okay. This right is from, I did not say 140, okay? 229 okay. yards per stadia is the. I have this from, from Wikipedia. Okay. okay. You, can, you can look this up. It says the Phoenician okay. Egyptian measurement of stadia is 229 yards. That is by Lehman and Haupt from 1929, who did a study on this. Okay. okay. They said it's 229 yards. 229 yards is 687 feet. 687 feet multiplied by 140 stadia is 96,180 feet. Okay. Which now, is, as your math says, 18 square miles. That's 18.2 square miles. Now, funny thing. That's east to west. If you go to a map of oh, Salt boy. Lake City- Okay. Do did it. You, did you put in a map of Salt Lake City or no? Just go to Google I, Maps. Just go to Google Maps. No, we're doing it live. Okay, cool. Yeah. We're doing this live. We're, I want. I want to see you Salt tasting Lake this crow. Salt Lake City I want... map. Okay, so here we are in Google Maps. Mm -hmm. I'm just pulling up the regular Google Maps of Salt Lake City. Yeah. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to measure okay. rightish, rightish there. Okay. Yeah. Go from there and stretch it down okay. to where you hit the other point of the mountain. Now this is going to be from. You know, to like Bangor Highway. Okay. So first off, let's establish before we measure here, when we use the measurement tool on Google Maps, what are the parameters of Salt Lake City? Are we talking about Brigham Young's original small Salt Lake City? Or are we talking about modern Salt Lake City? Are we talking about Salt Lake City of 2085 when Jesus comes? Like, what are we talking about here, pal? So, well, that's what it's going to tell you, right? So I did these measurements. Okay. And it turns out that it matches Salt Lake City exactly in like 1930. Shut up, really? <laughs> yeah. That's when they built Highway 85. Okay. On the outside of Salt Lake City, okay? And it, and at that on uh, at when they built that highway for like 30 years, it was exactly 18.3 miles east to west and 13.1 miles north to south, which is exactly what it says in the Dead Sea Scrolls. Really? Okay, Freaky wait. So deaky. so hold on. So where where do we measure from? So from, if you go from the state capital, where's the state capital? Is that up 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 Okay. See, so see, so yeah, you're getting close. By City Creek Mall. Ensign Peak right? Trail. I think you're Salt right Lake on it. Cemetery. Oh, Utah State Capitol. There right you go. here. Okay, so yeah, from yeah, that yeah. guy, and you say okay. directions. Measure distance, yeah, and then where are we going to? Let's see. Let's find Let's find a landmark that you can use. Say, say go to town. Uh, no, um, the Maverick Center. Sugar House. Go to Cowabunga Bay Water Park. What? Where Cowabunga is? Bay Water Park. That's what the Essenes saw in their heavenly vision. They saw Cowabunga <laughs> Bay Water Park. Okay, no, no. Pardon. Should I go to Cottonwood Heights, Murray? Where should no, I go? No, literally. Go to Cowabunga Bay Water Park. There's a Cowabunga Bay Water Park? Yes. Where is that? It's You'll see. Ty oh, no. You type it into directions. Say, give me directions. Okay. Utah State Capitol, Cowabunga Bay Water Park. This is what the Essenes were looking at in their heavenly vision. The angel was like, behold. Cowabunga, Cowabunga Bay, Bay Water, Park. Water Park. Oh, my gosh. There is a Cowabunga there you Bay go. Water Park. Now say directions. Okay. I'm looking at directions. Have, have, you ever, have you ever used a piece? Have you ever? <laughs> well, well, no, no. So here we go. Here's the click. Oh, I just clicked and it measured the, me it measured the distance. Oh, Look at that. Okay. All right. So it's 16.91 miles. 16.91 miles. By the way, the crow flies. There's the line between hmm. Cowabunga Bay Water Park and the state capitol. Yeah. So if you go if you if you go a little farther to the end of that last that last freeway there, it's okay. 18.3 miles. Kind of uncanny. You're right. 18.761 miles. Kind of uncanny. I'm just saying that's a little bit. That's a little bit. Whoa. Right. Okay, so yeah, yeah. here's all the criteria that we've checked off here, boys and girls. Okay. Just to review for Cardin, who's so skeptical. Uh -huh. Number one, this is a. Oh, oh, I forgot this very important part. They saw a city that had never existed before. This was a city that was built in the wilderness, right? So the angel says, oh. this city is built. There was no city here before. All the cities were built on top Did of each other. Did it say there was a large bearded man who said, this is the spot? <laughs> 
No, that Very wasn't insane. in the Essenes vision yeah. either. Okay. So it's a city that didn't exist. The Temple Scroll and the Prayer, a vision of the new Jerusalem constructed, okay, of a Jerusalem to be given by an angel. That's quoting from, from the translators, okay? Two, it's built on a grid system, okay? Three, the grid is oriented north to south and east to west. Four, the streets are wide. Five, the sidewalks, the peristyle is wide all over the place. Obnor obnoxiously wide. It would never be that wide, okay? Okay. Six, all the streets are numbered from the temple, not from the state capital. Like every what? Other, Shut up, really? From not from the state capital, from the temple. That's the center of the city. That's what made it so strange. It's a city centered around God, not centered around the state, okay? Then, there's a very large... Can, it is, the city is a very large continuous city that measures 18.3 miles north to south, 13.4 miles east to west. That matches Salt Lake City perfectly in like 1930. Just saying. <laughs> okay. You can check all my math. Go look at the Hebrew, guys. It's uh -huh. it's crazy. Now, the one part where this does not, where the, the, the theory falls apart is this. The Essenes, when they built their city, considered the entire city to be a temple. And okay. You're, and you're not allowed to defecate in the temple. Okay. So they would literally carry their uh, business in a bucket hmm. off the ground and carry it outside the city. Oh, no. To dump it outside the city. So imagine you got some errands to run and you got to all day carry yourself a little bucket with yourself and that's what they had to do because it was considered impure in their city so that's dedication bro. that's dedication, that's dedication. And i'm dedication. just saying salt lake if you're listening to this city planners <laughs> you'd be a lot more pure i mean you know you'd just be a step above if you did the opposite of san francisco okay you're like the anti-san fran okay and instead of having feces all over your sidewalks, you had them all over in a ring around your city because <laughs> you'd have to walk them to the edge and dump and dump your business around there. That's what they did. That's what the Essenes did. That's the uh, commitment of the Qumran. So community. is it the Essenes or the Essenes? Well, that's what we call them. We don't know what they call themselves. They call themselves the community. Um, oh, interesting. That sounds like a horror film where they about to cannibalize, <laughs> like whatever random filmmaker for their summertime project stumbled into their you know, their getaway thinking that it was some retreat. Welcome to the community. Yeah, welcome to the community. You Would shall you like join our community. Yeah, and they lure them in with an attractive female only to realize that they're about to like cut off his feet and his legs mm -hmm. as the fleshy part of dinner that night. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. Sounds like Salt Lake City. <laughs> Sounds like just like Salt Lake City. Now, Salt Lake City, I know that people have their beefs with Salt Lake City now. Just a reminder, before... The Dude, 70s I can't or 80s. stand those people. Okay, look, I can't. I don't like the Utah centric nature of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints mm -hmm. still, because there's a lot of second and third generation losers that occupy a lot of the paid leadership positions in the church office building, and they don't know how to do anything, and they sit, stand on the shoulders of giants, and they collect the dividends instead of building another. Uh, a, a, another story on the skyscraper, you know? So I, I don't like the Utah centric nature um, that doesn't pervade our faith, but exists in some corners of our faith still at the same time. I have like, so little tolerance for so many of these bashers too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. it's like, what was the phrase that you said right before I interrupted you? Uh, what the, everybody in Utah is going to heaven. Uh, no, <laughs> No, was that not? Did I not say that? No, I well, I guess if I forgot, it wasn't important. But I was going somewhere with this. The uh, I know, um, I know that you. We, sometimes we take issue with some of that culture these days. But oh before, no, this is what I was going to say. This is what I was going to say. Um, I totally remember now. So I, I guess it was important. No, dude, I remember. I I showed up, and one of my first times in being in Utah in a really really long time, probably since college. I don't think I've been there for like seven eight years or something absurd like that. Okay. And I show up and we're not at this pizza joint and it was a beautiful day in like June or July or something. I remember I got out of my car and I kind of stretched cause we've been driving for a while and I got out and I was like, wow, this is great. This is beautiful. I was right on the center drag in Salt Lake city. They, they, they improved upon some of the public transportation there. The main drag was beautiful. The mountains look beautiful. This, the positive smell was in the air, you know, the whole nine yards. And I said, wow, this is great. What part of town is this? And the guy said what part of town it was. There were some people hanging out on the patio of a restaurant. Um, and I said, oh, cool. I was like, so what do you think of this place? It's like, oh, it was great. Except for all the Mormons. Oh, you know? And oh I just gosh. remember, I was like, 
bro, you have no idea how much worse you could have it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like you have no idea mm-hmm. how much worse you could have it coming from Los Angeles after having lived in New York, after having been abroad, you having lived yep. in, you know, Moscow, Russia, it's or bit, Siberia, it's bit, Russia. It's a bit privilegy, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's a it bit is. privilegy to be like, oh, these they're so annoyingly nice. Yeah, it's well, like, oh please. Okay, well. <laughs> so um tell me, bro, do you think do you think the the Essenes saw the gridded city of of uh, the gridded city of of Salt Lake City. That's a, I mean, come on. That's a lot. Look, this is just sitting in the Hebrew for everybody to see. The other thing that they saw in the vision we have in the Discord, the late, latest thing I put in the Discord, they actually saw the flag of the state. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And they, they saw this flag. Here it is for, for us. It's in the <laughs> yellow and black construction yellow, uh, and it shows a family... <laughs> Trying to go to a ski trip, but they're stuck in the endless construction on the I-15. I-15. <laughs> and it says the great state of Utah. That's a smoking gun. That's what they, the angels showed him. And oh, so that. That settles it. That, that clinches it for royal. me. Yeah, That was absolutely royal. That so it, yeah. um, I, You're yeah, sold. I'm sold. Now you're sold. Before we go, do you think u two song, Where the Streets Have No Name, Ooh was written about Salt Lake about City Salt, because Bono fell in love. I want to run. <laughs> I want to hide. Where, Bono? Where do you want to run and hide? I want to tear down the walls that hold me inside. Something, something, name. Where the streets have no name. Right? Mm-hmm. Only numbers. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And so, where the streets have no name. Yeah. So do you think uh, uh, the, the apocryphal story that we all know must be true, right? Is he fell in love with a girl from Salt Lake City and with or without you was written because he couldn't live with her because she didn't want to marry him because, you know, it wouldn't be a temple marriage, but he couldn't live without her because, you know, he's in love and everything like that. So where the streets have no name was, uh, you know, written about how he wants to run. He wants to seek shelter from the poison rain. That's an unimpeachable where the streets case. streets have make. no name. Yeah. You know, an so, unimpeachable case that you lay out. Yeah, it's a, a, almost as unimpeachable as the Q15 running a gridded city with giant dude, sidewalks. Dude, come yeah. on. <laughs> Come on. I mean, all the, that's all in one scroll. You're like, whoa, Q15? Wait, grid? Yeah. Wait, numbers? Wait, temple in the middle? Wide yeah. sidewalks? All right. Come on. You make a compelling case. And then the flag. There's the cherry on top. Yeah. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let us know in the comments below uh, if you guys think that indeed the Essenes, the community of the Qumran mm-hmm. Library, if they actually saw Salt Lake City in their visions and wrote down that vision um or if maybe it was detroit and they just haven't lived up to <laughs> they just haven't lived up to the visionary experience of the ancient jews you know what i'm saying so let us know what you guys think in the comments below and as always make sure you guys follow us or for this and more please check us out at ward radio i just feel so good 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 oh, i just feel so